Good afternoon. Uh, as you've heard, I've had uh, very constructive discussions with Mr. Catter, and I thank him for the support that he has given my government in respect of supply and confidence. Uh, we have uh, a lot of um, issues that we hold very dearly and hold in common. His values and objectives are, in many respects, uh, very similar to those of the, uh, the LNP, the Liberal Party, the National Party, and uh, we have a very common uh, commitment to a strong development, particularly in Northern Australia and particularly with respect to water infrastructure. So uh, it's a very good and constructive discussion with Mr Catter, and again, I thank him for his support. Uh, other than that, of course, as you know, the, the counting continues. Um, we're seeing uh, positive trends in a number of seats, but the counting will have to be concluded before we know the final result. I should also note the uh, announcement by S&P today, and that is a reminder uh, that our commitment to budget uh, repair, to uh, reducing the deficit, uh, to reducing our debt, to managing our public finances responsibly must be a very high priority, absolutely a very high priority for the next parliament. It's, uh, it's critical uh, for the future of our economy, for the prospects uh, for every Australian in terms of their business, their job, uh, that we have our public finances in order and S&P has given us a reminder of that and as you know our budget uh, sets out a pathway back to balance uh, over the next uh, over the forward estimates and into balance in the year after that. So uh, that will be our commitment and overall I remain confident that we will form a government and we will do so and will unite the parliament so far as we are able to unite the nation in a common purpose to continue to ensure that we have strong economic growth, we continue successfully to transition from the mining construction boom in a manner that is fair and offers opportunities strong opportunities for these, for these very exciting times, which remain exciting, perhaps in some respects exciting in different ways, but nonetheless exciting. These are exciting times of great opportunity, but great challenge. S&P has reminded us that budget repair and that responsible public finances are absolutely critical. So thank you very much. Thank you.